Welcome back. Tropical Storm Barry intensified today and made landfall as a Category 1 hurricane, although it has since weakened from hurricane status. Officials say it remains a dangerous and powerful storm there. ABC's Elizabeth Herr is in New Orleans with the latest. Barry making landfall, slamming into the central Louisiana coast as a Category 1 hurricane. I also want to caution everybody, this is just the beginning. I ask everyone to stay vigilant. The storm now no longer a hurricane, but authorities warning it is on the move, still packing punishing winds and torrential downpours. Morgan City hard hit with Barry uprooting trees, damaging homes and property, and at its peak, leaving the city totally in the dark. The system's so fragile right now. Utility director made a decision just to shut the city down. Mm. So we're 100% out of electricity at this point. In Terrebonne Parish, a levee there overtopped by the rising water. These horses now rescued after becoming stranded. Saw so how deep the water was on there. Almost to their necks, the water's still rising, so we knew we had to get them out. This levee in Myrtle Grove also overtopped, but according to officials, not a single levee along the Mississippi River has failed. In New Orleans, for the first time in history, all of the city's floodgates were closed ahead of the storm. It's been cool, it's been a little breezy, a little spattering of rain yesterday, but not enough to mount to anything. Some residents now breathing a sigh of relief, but the mayor stressing the danger isn't over yet. We are not in any way out of the woods, and we will continue to reiterate this today, tonight, and into tomorrow. And this is one of the ways the city is trying to keep everyone safe. That is the river walk along the Mississippi River here in the French Quarter, closed as a precaution, again with Barry still on the move. Elizabeth Herr, ABC News, New Orleans.